Yeah. So, from what I've seen, it looks similar to Dead Cells. But I don't know anything outside of that. It looked interesting, so I requested a key and they granted me one. So we're gonna mess around with this for a while. New game! The sprawling city of Caligan was once at the forefront of scientific research. Its progress was suddenly halted by the invasion of a rival state, hellbent on stealing its technology. Desperate to survive, Caligan scientists developed a breed of super soldiers to turn the tide. The Arbiters. You are the first Arbiter. There I am, Arbitering. I got a jump button, a slide button. Slide has a bit of a cooldown on it, but no visual indication on when I could slide again. Ooh, and a gun. Oh, and there are bullets in that gun. We have five left. Kind of threw a lot of those away, huh? A double jump. Looks like a DS game. It looks like Dead Cells. Like... It has the same kind of style where it looks like it's a model that had a pixelated filter applied to it, as opposed to being actually pixelated. I remember when this forest was full of life. Now it's just twisted, like everything else. Twisted and evil. I like the music. Press and hold to increase distance. Uh. Uh. Oh, I didn't even have to hold the button down. Tap repeatedly to attack. She grabs and climbs ledges. <laughs> I hit every bullet. Automatically targets nearby enemies. Like that guy looks straight out of Dead Cells. But that's okay. Like... Take uh, the game we've been playing recently, Aratus. Looks a lot like Darkest Dungeon, plays a lot like Darkest Dungeon. And yet, I kind of prefer it over Darkest Dungeon. So, being clearly inspired by stuff is fine. Melee hits restore ranged weapon. Oh! Maybe I shouldn't just stand here and let you wail on me then. And you have def you have some issues with Dead Cells. I also have a few issues with Dead Cells that keeps me from going back to that game very often. Alright, we need to start dashing underneath people when they're attacking. Like I like how Dead Cells plays, I don't like how Dead Cells progresses. Guess it didn't take long for the harrow to set in after the war. It's 14 our max bullets. Let's see if we can get more bullets. We. I think 14's our max. Yeah, I like the animations, and I think that is another. No time to Ooh. reminisce. Back to the mission. Like. Same thing with Dead Cells, where they animated some traditional models and then applied a filter to make it look this way. I think that allows for some super smooth looking animations. Progression and trying to unlock cool stuff being attached to speed is rough for you? Yeah. That's, that's usually where I get hung up on that game, or after a while I'm just kind of burnt out on it. And I understand that appeals to people, so I'm not like, oh that game sucks, it's just not for me. I do like its Twitch integration quite a bit, so I do like going back and playing it every once in a while just for that. How are the cells dead? I don't remember the story of Dead Cells well enough, having not really beaten all of the different ways you could beat it to unlock the story. There's clearly some secret stuff underground.
Whee! I can I can see people up there. You're supposed to automatically shoot them. Gobber, how's it going? You don't get female outfits in games? Shorts, boots, anything but pants. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of midriff and a lot of uh, a lot of thighs. But she's a super soldier, so it's okay. You know, this allows mobility. Alright, I'm ready for the tutorial to be over. I'm ready for, like, new mechanics now. But we do have a choice, I think, between up or down. Let's go down. Spooky underground. Although it looks like they will connect eventually. Yep, that's a dead end. That keeps going. I'm gonna go up and left and see where that goes. Ooh, boxes! Alright, a little bit of a secret area. It does look like if I go up, I just end up in the same place. So for the sake of seeing everything in the very first area, I doubt like we'll come back. This being a tutorial area, after all. Although there were clearly underground secrets that we were catching glimpses of. So maybe you do come back eventually. Drop down. Sir? Oh, they're like covered in eyeballs. I'm only just now seeing that. Just got hit with a truckload of nostalgia? Tell me how. Does this remind you of something? Or is it unrelated to what's on the screen? Oh. <laughs> Surprise! Oh. I remember Sky does Minecraft. Uh, not particularly. It sounds like a, a Minecraft related YouTube thing, which I am not savvy on. I have never really watched much in the way of Minecraft YouTubes. Oh, you see, I didn't want to double jump. I wanted to cheese you guys. There we go, see that's what I was talking about. This isn't a roguelike. So this has like, standardized progression, which is probably something I will enjoy about it. Getting a boss encounter soon kind of vibe? No! What? Did something stay dead? Alright, that looked cool. Change of plans, I suppose. All right, I think the game is now properly starting. I think we're past the tutorial. Where'd I find this game? I saw it being advertised in a little trailer on a website I go to. And I thought, oh, that looks really nice. I like the animations and the combat looks fluid. Reminds me of Dead Cells, but maybe it won't have the parts of Dead Cells I don't like. And so I shot their developer request saying, like, hey, I would like to check it out. Well, I'd be going back to the temple. And they sent it to me. But I, I didn't look into, like, what kind of game it is, so I wasn't sure if it was a roguelike or a metroidvania. So I'm going into this largely blind, which is what I like. Alright, we might be able to do all those platforms eventually. Is there anything to the right? Yes. I want to go up first. 
Get ready for me to poke my face into like many passageways then make a decision about which one I actually want to go inside of. And they all just link up, uh <laughs> This happens all the time. This place is always giving me the creeps. Well that's a cutie, look at you. Bam! Jump up from the left. I'll give it a try. Nothing over here. Can't go back. Yeah, it looks like eventually those platforms might do something, but right now I can't grab those. Went back to his channel to see what he's been doing, and he's revamped everything. He's nowhere near as big as he used to be, but it's nice to see that the channel is not dead. That's nice. Yeah, just background confusion. Or in that case, it looked like it was kind of foregroundy. This music reminds me of something. Is there a map? Good question. Oh my, yes. Alright, that really helps clear clarify what we can jump to there. Let's look at some of the other stuff that's on those screens, because boy. How did I get to this? Why can't I bring them up anymore? There we go. Jeez. I think my controller's having a little, little freak out. Alright, so we have a, an elaborate skill tree. Oh my goodness. With three pages to it. Unstable strikes, hunter's instincts, contagion, safeguard. Okay, this is gonna be expansive. Hello, Hello there, Krios. How are you enjoying our not 1080p experience today? Nice and easy on your connection, I hope and assume. Hello. It's been infected. A bad dream? Forget it. Stick to the mission. Stick oh. To the mission. None of that happens. Forgon. Welcome to Forgon. Welcome to a foregone conclusion. Left trigger. Ooh. Is it made by the same people who made Blasphemous? I do not believe so. See, the art style for me reminds me a lot more of uh, Dead Cells. Oh, there's a cooldown on it. I can see where you're coming from with the, the Blasphemous. Oh, I have 39 blue things. Is there like a starting point? Can I just grab any one of these? No, it has to be one of the, the, the teal, not teal. Oh, shut up, Town of Hadley. Did I ever beat Blasphemous? Yeah, I got 99.9% .9 completion in Blasphemous. I missed one thing, which is very frustrating. But yeah, I really liked Blasphemous. I thought that game was great. All right, kills have a 10% chance to gain haste. Haste increases movement speed by 5% and lasts for 10 seconds. Stacks up to three times. Kills have a 3% chance to gain Leech. Leech uh, steals health when attacking enemies, lasts for 5 seconds. Dealing damage has a 5% chance to attach explosive charges. 
Uh, they explode in max stacks, or when duration ends, last five seconds, stacks up to three times. The most famous is a mobile spin-off of Chaos Reborn, the original XCOM developer's game that supposedly sucked. Interesting, so this this developer hasn't really done much of note recently. Until Forgone, I suppose. Assuming that this game latches on to the, the zeitgeist. Dealing damage is 3% chance to attach a tether. Latch to a target, damaging on movement and breaking at max distance. Taking damage has a 5% chance to inflict plague on nearby enemies. Deal damage over time, spreading nearby enemies. Last but not least, taking damage has a 10% chance to gain a bulwark. Increase resistance by 10%, lasts for 10 seconds. Alright, I'm personally leaning toward unstable strikes. I like bombs, I think they're fun. Or plague, I'm big on poison stuff. We can see from this one we'll have access to critical strike chance going up, increased health, and spread of plague goes up by 20%. Wait, wait, they made a game that looks like Boom Blocks, but on PC? Boom Blocks is great! I love Boom Blocks! According to the new egg, the last cord you need for your computer is supposed to arrive tomorrow. Well, I hope it actually does. As someone that's been waiting patiently for this goddamn video card, I hope you get your part. All right, what's this? Oh, it just shows me uh, my specials. All right, I'm gonna go for Plague. I like Plague. It's a phone game. Boo, you said PC. Oh. Does that mean I can never get these? Like we have worked our way off of the bulwark tree? I see. Oh, that's very interesting. So like, I had to make a choice between Bulwark or, or Plague. Same thing over here, we're gonna have to choose between Bloodthirst or Momentum. <coughs> uh, spoilers, it's gonna be, it's gonna be this one. Boomblocks was wrapping up when you started working at EA. Did you get to meet Steven Spielberg, the director of Boomblocks? What did I just, oh I undid. Didn't realize we had a chance to cancel there. Yeah, I'm alright giving up uh, Bulwark in favor of Contagion. You're working in Q&A. Alright, so now we have a chance to inflict the plague. And when we see oratory areas like this, they let tours around our floor like you, like you're a zoo. Look at these sad sacks here in the Q&A department. Okay, and we have a forge. Does this cost... Oh, this uses gold! <laughs> well then. I mean, we have a lot of gold. Yeah, upgrade. Please, have 20 gold. Alright, can only upgrade it once each, but hey, they're upgraded. Dance Dance Revolution when? Yeah, you're gonna have to talk to Andrew about that. He's the Dance Dance Revolution guy. And DD2 when? Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 when that game is released, I assume. Did I just choose like a level? No, I was just wandering around. There was like a place I didn't go inside of. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, that could also be what he's talking about. Alright, I think this brings me right back to where I just was. The outpost. So I guess we'll explore this. We're here. Bam! Dumb donkey. <laughs> Dumb donkey too. Alright, can't get up there. Which leads me to believe we might get, like, a better double jump one day. A triple jump. Or maybe I can make it if I'm, like, super min-maxy about when I jump. Oh, it doesn't work when you shoot me in the face with a shotgun! Dick! Yeah, maybe with a dash. Let's try it. Let's try dash. <gasps> no, I don't want to waste my dash. But I also kind of want to. Is this a wall? It is. Alright, I will try dashing. One. Yeah, it does work. 
It's like Super Metroid plus Castlevania. Oh my god, we could make a new new genre using these terms. Like a like a Castle Metroid. A Castleoid. Cast Casteroids, yes. This is a Castroid game. Darkest Dungeon 2 is supposed to be set in a snowy climate and the game style is getting changed up. Interesting, they're changing the, the art style. I thought that was kind of like a fundamental aspect of the experience. That like dark, oppressive, like Magnolia-esque art style. You started watching the Haikyuu dub last night? If you want to watch a great show, you gotta watch TQ. Watch the TQ show. Oh, I looked at chat. All right, you look angry, so... Put your weapon away, that was your first mistake. Son of a bitch. He hits hard. Oh! I don't care for that guy. You download the Cinders mod. Yeah. Uh, I do plan on doing a multiplayer Cinders playthrough in the not too distant future. Oh, you meant how the game is played, I see. Huh. Looks like I'm on the right track. I mean, I got shot in the face a few times, that kinda hurt. <laughs> TQ does rule, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, wrong button. I had a heal up there. And now I wasted my dash. <coughs> oh, <laughs> Each episode of Tiki was like 30 seconds long. A whole season is like a, a one episode of another show. Oh, is this early access? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that makes sense. A full 20% of the season of Tiki is the opening song. Not incorrect. Yeah, TQ is just like, whoops, I watched the whole season. All right, well, you're you're kind of frightening. But well, now you're dead. <gasps> Secrets. What do we have here? 11 chimp percent chance to apply stasis and emblem increases damage by 5% can I take both of them or just one so what's my current pistol do damage wise 15 power DPS to 25 16 25 so we'll, we'll grab this one first just in case we only get one we can take both hey I mean, I guess I'll switch. No a reason not to. Uh, what about my emblem here? Am I wearing it? We are, good. <laughs> also, break all your nerd stuff. Yeah, that's what we were saying earlier, uh, buddy Ed. If you take too long a break from a show, you end up not finishing it. Like Gabriel Dropout, you should finish Gabriel Dropout, it's great. What Bloodborne build should you play? Uh, I'm always a fan of going for the, the arcane build, even though it's not super viable in the early game. But also, I like every build. I just really like Bloodborne. I look forward to playing that again soon. Yeah. 
Yeah, I play something I haven't played before. Alright, we saw that stasis go off. Oh, I'm poisoned! <coughs> You've beaten the game twice. You have plenty of bills to play with then. <coughs> yeah, Krius, I look forward to you playing it for the first time and telling me about it. And me playing with you. Because I'll certainly play it with you. <laughs> I didn't say not entirely viable, I said not super viable. Like, uh, most of the other builds are going to have lots of options early. And certain other ones, you're going to have less options early. Arcane, you're kind of pigeonholed for the first few areas if you want, like, decent damage output, and eventually it opens up to you. I do recommend, you know, solo your first time. But also, like, don't be afraid to bring people in to redo areas with you, or if you have trouble with a boss, bring in a friend. <laughs> All right. Oh, I could just keep on increasing plague. Interesting. Gain leech. Increase by 20%. This costs 50. They both do. Interesting. Are there invasions in Bloodborne? There are, but they're very, very specific in Bloodborne. Uh, there is a bell ringing woman in the area. You'll hear her bell like ding, 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 ding. And that means someone can invade you. If you murder the bell ringing woman, it will prevent invasions. You've done pure strength and also strength arcane. Maybe it's time for a bit of a, a skill in blood tinge. Invasions are the main mechanic that make you think you won't enjoy a Souls-like experience. Bloodborne is the least invady of them all. Like, it's rare to experience invasions, almost. Uh, and my last playthrough I went through with only one invasion, that was in uh, the Nightmare of Mensis, an area that I didn't actually have to do. There's a lot of optional locations in that game. Uh, also, with like Dark Souls 3 and other Souls likes to have invasions, uh, you could just not make yourself human and avoid them entirely, or play in offline mode and you avoid them entirely. You could play the two invasion areas offline and not be invaded. Exactly. Like, if you really want to avoid uh, invasions when you're in the Nightmare of Mensis, just turn off. Turn off your internet for a moment. Put your game in offline mode. So, basically, what I'm seeing here is we can. Increase the chance it'll go off right now by stacking this one, or we could work our way to the right and get the one that just blanket 20% increase. Oh, this is the spread radius. Alright, I'm actually going to just increase the odds we get plague effect applied. I dawned on me there was a whole other page on there that I wasn't looking at. Pop in here. Oh, I can upgrade this too? Don't mind if I do. Isn't that where Moan Lad is one of the main bosses? Mm. He is the host of Nightmare, but he's not actually in the Nightmare of Mensis, so you're safe. Wait, actually, he does count as being in the Nightmare of Mensis? Still, though, it's not that bad for invasions, his area. I'm thinking of uh, where... Amygdala is, which is also a nightmare. I'm trying to remember, the, there's a distinct name for the two locations. One's the Nightmare of Mensis and the other one. You love the skill chart and these upgrades? Me too! I very much enjoy games with large, sprawling skill charts, fun upgrades, and also I love this giant spinning sword. It is phenomenal. Alright, we've upgraded a few things. Let's go back. Waypoint 2. It doesn't feel terribly early access. Like, it, it feels very, very playable, very complete.
Well, what's wrong? Did I kill you from beneath? All right, I think I came from here last time. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't. Rem oh, you know, I remember that. Yeah, I did come from there. That seems fair. Andy, how's it going? Which part of the body dies last? The pupils, because they dilate. Ah, oh, I love your jokes. It's always a treat when you're here. How are you doing? Maybe I do have to go up since the left. I'm not seeing anything on the right hand wall. Working and lurking? Not bad, not bad. Alright, up and left it is. Oh, he's a big boy! Picked up something there. Let's not go through the plague cloud. Oh, I think I affected him with plague. Whoa! Oh, there he is. That's the plague right there. It'll die in time. Oh, I picked up quite a few new things, didn't I? So currently we have power 21, DPS 27. But now we have a longbow with a DPS of 25. This gun has 25, 23. I feel like when we upgrade this, this will be better. But we're gonna stick with our 11% chance. Stasis, 27 DPS. It's clearly better. Although it does have double upgrades, just like this bow. This bow will be better in the end. Let's see if we're missing anything. Oh my. There's whole areas we didn't go into. It looks like this wraps back? No, wall. Oh. <clears throat> I like you the least. These guys do a lot of damage if they shoot you. But they can't hurt you if they're dead. Should just dash through them. Yeah, dashing through them works real good. Sounds like this is the point of snipers. Ow! God damn it! What happened to your bullets, y'all? Out? Well, that sucks for you. Whoa. Uh, 53. I feel like now's a good time to heal. I see. Doing damage also helps restore. Ooh. My dash. What you cooking, Al? Oh, I think a music transition is going to happen in there. Katase, how's it going? Yeah, 
haven't gotten far in it, but Gears Tactics is amazing. Is that like a, a tactical spin-off of the Gears of War franchise? I've heard the name, but I haven't actually, like, taken the time to figure out what it is. I do tend to like tactics game spin-offs when they happen. That game seems well suited to it, to be honest. Interesting. This feels like there should be something up here, but... You're very interested in Gears Tactics, but you still have XCOM Chimera waiting for you. I've also heard good things about Chimera Squad. So much better than Chimera, oh my. <coughs> That hurt muchly, oof. I have a little bit of healing. I'll, I'll use a little bit of healing. I wonder if that did anything up here. No. Your big issue with Chimera is that it doesn't feel very polished. But the XCOM engine gets really glitchy and Chimera is much worse. It took away Mook customization? Oh, that's one of the best parts. The game keeps crashing. I do remember XCOM 1 being very buggy. But I also remember finding that to be very funny. Give me more healing. You don't get to actually romance the snake, man. Well, then what's the point? Oh! God damn! Hit me in the foot. That was the wrong direction of dashing. Oh, I got punched right in the tummy. Alright, I'm glad I died because we get to see death here. That's pretty cool looking. I like that a lot. For an arbiter, death is but another enemy to overcome. Perhaps I can assist. I will spare you a trek back to your resting place if you share the treasures you recover. Shall we make a deal? Retrieve half of lost items. The remaining items will be lost. Hey, your boy, how's it going? I'm questioning whether or not if I go manually there, could I get 100% of my stuff back? Or is this like the only way to get some of it? I guess I'll say yes. Or, I mean, you know what? No, I'm gonna say no and we're gonna see if it's still there waiting for us. Oh, but at the same time, that's like a bunch of stuff I'm losing. Yes. You can't outrun death forever. Alright, so I can't do an upgrade at 30, but I can do... Sorry, I can't do a skill point, but I can do an upgrade. So let's upgrade the new bow we got. 27. So same as our gun. Lower critical chance. Oh, I could salvage some stuff for cash. What's the salvage button? Salvage these two. Let's try the bow. Very polished, very tactics game that encourages rewards aggression, and you can chainsaw people. I mean, those are all winning, winning um, aspects of the game for sure. 
All right, waypoint two. I'm very curious if we could have just not taken the offer and gotten 100% of our rewards back. Why, why did I jump there? It's like I wanted to get hit. Ducking was not the right plan there. Stop it! Little jerks. Shara dropping a lot of uh, ranged weapons here. I wonder if I have less max ammo with the bow. I'm not gonna shoot anyone for a while. We're just gonna see how many bullets we can get. It was 14 with the pistol I had before. Maybe I could check that. DPS, range, power. No indication of bullet capacity. So we'll just keep going, see what happens. Minus aggression is pretty much the only way you play Fire Emblem and XCOM once your boys are at a certain high level. I walked into it like a dummy. And I used a bullet. Six. There's an execution mechanic where you can get someone low on health, you could send your dude in to execute them, and then all of your other guys get a free action. So you could chain executions. Oh, that sounds amazing. The aggro mechanic was ass. Whoa! Whoa! No shooties. You guys hurt a lot. Six. Six. Yeah, I think there's less bullets with the bow. Which makes me uh, less inclined to use it. Because, like, you know, the DPS is the same with this pistol. We have a better crit rate, too. Yeah, I have 14 bullets with the pistol. I imagine later on there are going to be really powerful bows so that'll be worth our while, but for right now... Ooh, that increased our max health. Increases damage by 9, health 12, 5% health, yep. Oh, we have new swords too. Oh my god, are these nunchucks? I'm sorry, did I say nunchucks? That was stupid of me. What I meant to say was gunchucks. I meant gunchucks. I mean, why, why wouldn't you use the gunchucks? Ah, oh, I'm so good at that. Yeah, gunshots. Get shot. Ah, oh, fellow chucker, huh? Did I get that hit in on me? That sucks. I thought the timing was such that it was alright. You only have four people in your squad at a time. There's five classes, but they do the thing where you get to use guys on side missions and you can't take the same team everywhere. Oh, so that kind of encourages you to, or rather forces you to, spread your team out. Chucks are a terrible we weapon IRL. I do have some nunchucks. My brother gave them to me for Christmas. It's like, thank you. I'm sure I'll injure myself grievously. Yeah, if they're good enough for Michelangelo, who is, I might add, a real ninja? And I'm sure they're fine. 
I love the gun checks. These are kind of phenomenal. I'm the newest ninja on the crew. Of course, by dodging his attack, I went right into the bullet range. <laughs> There's something very, very satisfying about gun checks. Gun checks are better than sword checks, yes. How's it going, Varanon? Waste a bullet for no reason, but that's okay. I see you seeing me. Shouldn't have taken that damage, but I could heal it. How's it going? Oh god, big turret. Whew. I gotta say, I really rather enjoy this game so far. As predicted, it, it has a lot of the feel that I enjoyed of Dead Cells, but... ...without the parts I disliked. Ooh, look at that gentleman. Oh, he's the guy that killed me! Alright, I don't like what's about to happen now. We also have a spear. We should check out all the different weapon types. Oh my goodness, look at this thing, a burst rifle. DPS of 23. My current gun's better, but with an upgrade that might be better. That's a shiny. <laughs> yes, happy, may the fourth be with you. Come at me! It's enhanced with my strength! Hey, he did have all my stuff. So it kind of does the Bloodborne thing, where the minion that did the killing blow, or someone nearby, depending on how you died, will have a, a glow to them. In the case of Bloodborne, glowing purple eyes. In this game, just a big glow. And they have- oh, I like that! They have all your stuff. Interesting. I wonder why this is here as as a fixture of the environment. Maybe. Nope, no slideys. Throw a Pokeball at him. Add him to my Pokedex. Hey, a new teleport point. We're in Hollow Hills. So there's definitely locations we did not go to as we were progressing there. Just gonna... There we go, rotate that slightly. 153, we can definitely do some... some skill points here. So for 100, I can get that. For 50, I can do this. The enemies aren't strong enough to really warrant poison at the moment. Explosive charge stack. Explosives, on the other hand, would be a very immediate and satisfying thing. We can increase our attack speed, our critical chance goes up, increase the bomb stack. Leech duration. I like the idea of leech. So I'm thinking we're gonna do, obviously the plague path, the bomb path, 
and the health path, and then new pads are going to be branching off as we go. We don't have anything new up here. And obviously there's also many pages. Oh, I see how it's laid out here. It's like levels. Like we're looking at uh, level one, level two, level three. Okay, more more manageable then. All right, I'm gonna take Der Bomb, and I'll increase my crit chance. That requires a hundred. That requires fifty. That requires fifty, and I'll upgrade my speed, my attack speed. So that's it for those. Let's hit up the yield upgrade building. Oh my goodness. All right. So these are 1624. Better than these gunchucks in every way. I'm gonna mark you for salvage. 1528, 1026. This one would upgrade better than this one. So I'll get rid of that one. We'll hold on to... No, wait. Get rid of this one. That way this one could upgrade to be better than the other. We'll mess around with the spear. We're going to upgrade the gunshucks. And then over here, 1023. <coughs> this one's trash. <coughs> Savage you. And hold on to one of each type here. Alright, I'm going to upgrade the gun checks because of course I am. And yeah, this only costs 20 to upgrade once, so no reason not to. And I'll upgrade the spear, just so we can mess around with it. We won't upgrade it again, though. I feel like I'm gonna use the gunshots, but we might also get a better weapon soon. Ah, screw it. Money seems like it's not too hard to come by. Alright, let's see what the spear is like. Alright, they all handle very differently, which is nice. <laughs> Obviously, this is the best one. I guess I could also check out... Well, oh, wrong button. Every time. They all have their own... Their own ammo pool, so I guess if I run out of bullets, I could switch long-range weapons. <coughs> How did Ridley get out of space prison? It's a very pretty game. Dutched into it. Well, oh. uh. your guy chained something and doing a half screen stay down. I mean, he's in half. I'm pretty sure he has no choice but to stay down. I did my cool dash directly into an attack. 
So that was a bummer. Nope, didn't get out of the range. So he's plagued right now, and eventually he did die. The plague effect applies to all of my weapons, not just my primary. Joe, how's it going? Uh, it performs, like, gameplay-wise, very similarly. Uh, but it is not a roguelike. So if you like how Dead Cells feels, but are not a huge fan of some of the mechanics, then this is a very good game for you. Get out of here with that! Nope, right in front of him. Right in front of him. But we plagued him, so it's okay. Yeah, a bit more of a Metroidvania. I think we do have quite the extensive map here. Well, I guess it's not extensive anymore because we're in a new area. Oh, I dodged into all that chain gun fire. That really hurt. There appears to be some profanity in your Gears of War spin-off game. How irresponsible of them. Where was I going? Down. It's pretty good, though. I'm very much enjoying this. Stop it with the babies! <laughs> as long as there's no nipples. They can curse all they want, but no nudity. Where you going, Mighty Odin? Oh, right, you're starting Cinders. Have fun with Cinders. Like I said, I look forward to when we start our, our multiplayer experience with that one. A new melee weapon? Why would I ever use that when I have gunshucks? Four hundred and twelve monies. The music's real good. Was the nun throwing variant upsetting the covenant? Ah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like the idea of swinging two nuns around on a chain. I don't know why though. I feel like they're just being like big old babies about it. Oh, I got a new pair of gun shucks. Two upgrade levels. Lower power, so we're probably just gonna mark that for salvage. on floor three of Aratus, that's where I am. Oh my god. Looking at Chad is devastating sometimes. Uh, I want to keep going down. Come on. <laughs> I was doing a dash. Damn it. All right, Death, you could keep all your garbage. I'm going right back in there and I'm gonna get everything back. I'm not giving up half. Screw you. You found out today how to convert vampires? Oh, are you not around for yesterday's stream when we, we were doing the vampires? Gotta use one of the Erratus skills and have someone run away. Floor two makes it really easy. There's that minion type that runs away if they're the last ones in the enemy party. So you just, like, wipe everybody out and have them run away. Alright, if I go straight, I'll get to where I was. 
Let's see, the second ladder, we want to go up, over, and then down. And that's where we died. So not this ladder. Krios, you're one of the few minions we have that has yet to, uh, die and be reborn as the, the second version of themselves. You are mighty. Oh, that's my jar of souls right there. Wish they would open the door for me. I mean, nice of them. Oh, Gomper, you, you did die, but we made Gomper too. You've been reborn. We were using you, and you did die. Oh, Vampire and Ghoul are super OP, those two. They can heal themselves. They do massive physical damage. They are ridiculous. My one problem with the gun... The gun chucks here. So you got one, two, three four. So there's a huge break there. One, two, three, four. So often I'm like, all right, we got to kill this guy. I know the timing is attack and I get hit right there every time. You punched the first wolf to death. You made a mistake. You fucked up. You should have used him to uh, skip through the wall, which is what I'm going to do on my next playthrough of Blood Void. I'm going to use the werewolf to skip through a chunk. But no, you didn't actually mess up. I just want to really try this level skip thing. You're putting most of the points in the crit for the vampire. Gotta try and get their critting with those already massive damage attacks. Yeah, I'm kind of working my way that way. He picked up my souls! So yeah, I got hit at the last second in that combo again. But we now know we could avoid the death deal of, hey, I'll give you half your stuff for half your stuff. And we could just come and get our stuff. Obviously, if we're like, hey, what's down this scary corridor? And it turns out to be filled with terrible stuff, then his deal is worthwhile. But for right there, that was just me running into a blade two times, like literally. Touching a circular saw twice. Which is one of my fears every time I've ever used power tools. Like every time I use the circular saw in college, I would think to myself, alright, but if I slip, I'm gonna lose my fingers. Freaked me out. Is there a level cap for minions? I do not know. I feel like eventually when you unlock all of your different abilities, that might be the level cap. Bam, bam. Create more, how's it going? We are playing Forgone. A game that looks very similar in graphic style, but is not a roguelike. I like it quite a bit. It handles very well. It feels good in the hand. I saw in Discord you said you posted uh, you unlocked the Bone Golem. Sounds like it's a good minion. Alright, I unlocked something somewhere. Ah, the door out of here. Stormy, thank you so much for that subscription. Two months, baby. Do you have been so many great independent retro games lately? Ooh! 
I do enjoy oo-woos. And yes, Varanon, did you have a stroke? <coughs> do you have been so many great independent retro games lately? Call the Bodulance. That was a big open area with nothing going on. I really expected like a mini or normal boss experience. Guns! I got gun chucks. I wonder. Come over here. Where did ooh woo come from, anime? Get out of here. Dude, you've been playing so many great independent retro games lately. Ah, you're you're, you're assuming that's what was going on with Varanon. I could I could see that. In which case, yes, there have been a lot of really cool games. I guess that's an elite right there. <laughs> Ow. I messed up. That's right, put your junk away. Everyone go to the right. Get out of here, you scamps. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, you plagued? That sucks for you. And... Come on, how much health do you have left? I got tired of waiting. You scallywags. Is Xanima multiplayer? Not at the moment. I would very much be interested in that as an update as they develop, but given it's such a small studio and network code being its own beast, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one, but it would be super awesome. But you never know. Modding communities have done crazier things with games that didn't have network code. Alright, I learned that you have a move that I don't like. They're working on a larger RPG using the same engine. Interesting. It's the prototype for the other game. Huh. I have mixed feelings about that. Ah, uh, my dodge was not... Not ready, it was in cooldown. Like, yes, excited that they're working on a bigger thing that uses the same functionality, but also, like, I have Xanima. I want them to work on Xanima. Sui Generous is the larger game. And they intend on finishing Xanima. Alright. Uh, jumping was the wrong move there. Should have just walked left. Alright, locked door down there. We're looking for something. Oh no! Good lord. Yeah, no, once I took all those bullets to the face, I knew what was gonna happen. Damn it. You're thinking if you get promoted, you will try to transfer to the Lumberyard team. The Lumberyard team. I don't know what you're talking about, Katase. Your one broken hero sword short in your Terraria game? It's Amazon's gaming engine. Interesting. Based on the Cry engine. I'm unfamiliar. I mean, I've already opened these shortcuts, so... 
Getting to where I was is not exactly a long, arduous journey. Might as well be full health. Have they made any games with it yet? Is there anything I would be familiar with? Alright, there are my souls. Upcoming MMO uses it. Interesting. Crane culture, how's it going? All right, here's where things get dicey up here. too soon full health though because again this floor sucks there we go Got my stuff back. Ooh. Yeah, I'm with Gumper. Uh, I was unaware they even had an engine or a gaming department, so this is all news to me. Apparently, Amazon has a game development uh, group inside of them. I guess that makes sense. Like, they, they own Twitch. They have their own launcher at this point. Okay, I regret coming into this room. I could have just kept on going right. No. Oh, God. I couldn't da dash through that. Oh, boy. All right, well. Let's go get my stuff back, I guess. This might be the chance for the... I'll take half! Yeah, I think we need to dash between the windmills. Keep keep a decent amount of distance. Hey. Oh, I died. I died quite hard. We've also, like, opened all the doors between then and there, so it should be a short trip. I was not prepared for a boss there! Very unexpected. All right, here's the big open area. So we need to go up, over, down. Oh, we could unlock the other door and we can attack that boss from either side. Guess we'll do that. Take, take a moment. It's just unfortunate that it's here. This floor's hard. All right, you jerk. Walk forward, complete your trip. Turn around, all right. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't notice you there. Once again, wait for everyone to go about their business. All right. 
That's the elite dead. I don't like the lightning spear guy, but he's not too bad. That's worse, though. Hey, bye. All right. That did not actually open the door I thought it was going to open, but it does make my trip back to the boss way faster. How long do you have to wait before you kick Elvis out? Did you talk to him and see if he came from Boxtopia? I really hope he's a Boxtopia native. I hope he's my Elvis. Oh, how's it going? All right, we have a lot of weapons to check out when we get back. And we have enough points to start working on some more of these trees. How's it going, Pope? How's your day? You should talk to him, see if he mentions, uh, glorious Boxtopia. Alright, here's, here's an important question for us. I have a thousand monies, 260 upgrade points. Do I try the boss? Or do I look for a... Let's just go a little bit more right and see. It's a dead end. Alright, the boss is what we're here for. Ah, uh, but I have so much stuff. So much stuff. I kind of want to go back and, like, upgrade, but... We're here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna spend some of my money. Because the boss is a boss. It's it's got to be challenging. It's going to be rough. Why not be as equipped as possible for the encounter? Increase the odds we don't have to do another soul run, another corpse run. I'm always more tired than I should be. Gunchucks are the best chucks. Oh, it's actually not a roguelike. This here is a proper Metroidvania. Also, instead of it being a dangerous unknown world, it is a world consumed by a war and we're a super soldier designed to fight the problem. We call them 2D Souls Likes. Ooh, the Sun Chucks, that'd be even better. <laughs> like, it looks a lot like uh, Dead Cells. Like, to the point where that's my initial impression is always like, oh, look at it, it looks like Dead Cells. But the more you play it, the more it differentiates itself. And I've come to the conclusion that if a game has an obvious point of inspiration, that's not necessarily a negative. Like, I really like Iratus. I like it more than I like Darkest Dungeon. So having a point of inspiration just means you can improve upon a formula in a way that might be better for you personally. I know there are people that are going to prefer other things over other things. But for me, like, I like having these, these options, these varieties. Uh, 260 gives us quite a few options here. I'm gonna go with... Darkest Dungeon would be perfect for you if it were 15 or 10 to 15% more forgiving. Darkest Dungeon, the, the roguelike nature of it can be frustrating for me. Six check, how's it going? This looks cool, you played a ton of Den Cells. It, it feels like, I like how Dead Fe Cells feels. Like, I think it plays very well. It feels good in your hands. And this game hits that right on the head. It feels really good in the hand. And then uh, the problems I had with Dead Cells, I like Dead Cells, but like I can't get into it too much because some of the cool stuff being locked behind time gates, I'm not really like a, we gotta go fast. I'm more of a take your time and explore kind of person. So I never really, <clears throat> got to experience those elements of Dead Cells. And this game doesn't have that, so I'm just like, oh, this is all the stuff I like about Dead Cells and none of the stuff that irked me. 
So I'm very much enjoying my time so far. Uh, increased damage by 2%. 100 points to do this one. I want to get to Plague Spread. You never made it to those time doors? Yeah, you, you take your time with the combat and exploring and looking for stuff, and then you miss out on all that other things. All that other things, all that other stuff. I'm gonna go with increased damage. This costs 100. Increased critical strike chance by 10%. There's an easier mode for Darkest Dungeon now. It wasn't really the difficulty that bothered me about Darkest Dungeon. It was, um... I never really felt like I was making sufficient progress, I guess. Like, I know I was, but I didn't really get that feedback. Iratus is very much like, All right, you did it. You're moving on. And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Uh, although I will admit, Darkest Dungeon, the sanity management was too much for me. Like, I, there's too much I have to keep my eyes on, too much to manage, too much to juggle around. And then you just lose, and it's like, oh well, I guess I wasted a lot of time. Increase the odds that bombs will happen. So I'm doing 125, I can do 100 more. I want to make my way to increase plague spread, I think. But for the boss, chance to inflict plague. Let's bring that up. There we go. And now weapon upgrades. You hated the sanity management? Yeah, that was the hard part for me. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of a lot of stuff now. Ooh, a falchion. This is a different weapon. We haven't seen what this looks like yet. All right, this is kind of like a big, heavy, slow swing. I like it. Still think I prefer my gunchucks, though. All right. So currently I have a power level 26, DPS 28 gunchuck. It's upgraded twice. 13% chance to apply stasis is nice. Let's focus on gunchucks for now. Power level 19, 25, can upgrade twice. 3% chance to trigger aftershock. 4% chance to apply stasis. So, these are pretty good gun checks. These are less exciting. So, mark you, mark you. Sword wise, oh my, we have a much better sword. Sell that one. Spears. This could upgrade twice, this could upgrade twice. 19, 21. 16, 16. That means this one will ultimately be better, so I'm gonna sell that one. Three percent for trigger aftershock stasis. We don't know what aftershock is, so I'm gonna keep that one. Destroy the wait. I thought we were salvaging. Yeah, we are. Bye. Miss Ginge, raiding. Thank you so much. How's it going, Miss Ginge? Could someone please give Miss Ginge a shout out? Did you change your schedule, Miss Ginge? I feel like I never see you when I'm ending my streams. You used to be like, who I rated every time. I miss the good old days. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How's Fallout 76 going? Tell me everything about everything. Inflict Plague. Oh, Plague Synergy. Well then, keeping that one. And then in our ring department here. We're currently wearing 5% health, physical resistance, control resistance. I mean, I'm gonna upgrade the health ring, I think. We'll just hold on to the other rings, there's no reason to get rid of them. Increases damage by 9%, 10% damage over time, resistance, 3% physical resistance. This one does nothing. The only stream during the daytime these days? Ah, boo. He ate some NPCs, living the good life. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I did just destroy stuff without getting money for it. I'm a dummy. I wasn't in the forge. Alright, these gun chucks are fully upgraded. Yeah. 
know what I'm gonna upgrade? The ring that increases my health total. Yeah. Do it again. And I'm currently wearing this one. Increases damage by 9%. It means you could raid me now. I suppose that's also good. Well, thank you so much for the raid. All right, gunshucks. DPS of 30, DPS of 28. So now we have 3% chance to stun or, sorry, 13% for stasis. Less damage though, 4% chance for aftershock. Oh my god, the Falchion's gonna be a heavy hitter, won't it? Yeah. Maybe for the boss, we're gonna do the Falchion. You miss the Whisper Streams? Aw. They miss you. Alright, let's uh, try the Falchion for the boss. Slower, heavier hits, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Praise the sun. I always feels disingenuous when I say that. Like, obviously, I'm very much in favor of Solaire and all of his incandescent glory, but, like, I block out my windows. I don't see the sun very much. I don't care for the sun. <laughs> Don't hit me, don't hit me, oh. No, I am not a sunlight warrior. Dark moon blade all the way. <gasps> you have to go into the outside world, Miss Ginge. Please be safe, be careful, and have a good trip. He just shot me in the face for like a full 30 seconds. Oh. The trip to this boss room sucks. All right, we're at full health. We don't have a heal and we don't have our dash, but we'll eventually get that. All right, let's try. When he's not spitting the blades is when we dash. Ow. No, 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 no. Ooh. If we could apply our status effects to him, I would feel a lot better. Alright. We know when he hits the ground, we need to jump. I'll leave my souls there, because getting to the boss fight is not that bad.